Propylene oxide is an organic compound with the molecular formula CH3CHCH2O. This colorless volatile liquid is produced on a large scale industrially, its major application being its use for the production of polyethopolials for use in making polyurethane plastics. It is a chiral oxide, although it is commonly used as a racemic mixture. This compound is sometimes called 1,2-propylene oxide to distinguish it from its isomer 1,3-propylene oxide, better known as oxetane. Production Industrial production of propylene oxide starts from propylene. Two general approaches are employed, one involving hydrochlorination and the other involving oxidation. In 2005, about half of the world production was through chlorohydrin technology and one half via oxidation routes. The latter approach is growing in importance. Equals hydrochlorination route equals, the traditional route proceeds via the conversion of propylene to chloropropanols. The reaction produces a mixture of 1-chloro-2-propanol and 2-chloro-1-propanol, which is then dehydrochlorinated. For example, lime is often used as a chlorine absorber. Equals co-oxidation of propylene equals, the other general route to propylene oxide involves co-oxidation of the organic chemicals isobutane or ethylbenzene. In the present of catalyst, air oxidation occurs as follows. CH3CH equals CH2 plus pH CH2 CH3 plus O2 or CH3 CH CH2 O plus pH CH equals CH2 plus H2O. The co-products of these reactions, T-butyl alcohol or styrene, are useful feedstock for other products. For example, T-butyl alcohol reacts with methanol to give MTBE, an additive for gasoline. Before the current U.S. ban of MTBE, Propylene azorbatane was one of the most important production process. Equals oxidation of propylene equals, in April 2003, Sumitomo Chemical commercialized the first PO-only plant in Japan, which produces propylene oxide from oxidation of cumin without significant production of other products. This method is a variant of the POSM process that uses cumin hydroperoxide instead of ethylbenzene hydroperoxide and recycles the co-product via dehydration and hydrogenation back to cumin. In March 2009, BASF and Dow Chemical started up their new HPPO plant in Antwerp. In the HPPO process, propylene is oxidized with hydrogen peroxide. CH3CH equals CH2 plus H2O2 or CH3CH CH2O CH plus H2O. In this process, no side products other than water are generated. Uses between 60 and 70 percent of all propylene oxide is converted to polyethopolials for the production of polyurethane plastics. About 20 percent of propylene oxide is hydrolyzed into propylene glycol via a process which is accelerated by acid or base catalysis. Other major products are polypropylene glycol, propylene glycol ethers, and propylene carbonate. Equals historic and niche uses equals, propylene oxide was once used as a racing fuel, but that usage is now prohibited under the US NHRA rules for safety reasons. It has also been used in glow fuel for model aircraft and surface vehicles, typically combined in small percentages of around 2% as an additive to the typical methanol, nitromethane, and oil mix. It is also used in thermobaric weapons, and microbial fumigation. Fumigant, the United States Food and Drug Administration has approved the use of propylene oxide to pasteurize raw almonds beginning on September 1, 2007, in response to two incidents of contamination by salmonella in commercial orchards one incident occurring in Canada and one in the United States. Pistachio nuts can also be subjected to propylene oxide to control salmonella. Microscopy, propylene oxide is commonly used in the preparation of biological samples for electron microscopy, to remove residual ethanol previously used for dehydration. In a typical procedure, the sample is first immersed in a mixture of equal volumes of ethanol and propylene oxide for five minutes and then four times in pure oxide, ten minutes each. Safety, propylene oxide is a probable human carcinogen, and listed as an IARC Group 2B carcinogen. References External links, web book page for C3H60.
propylene oxide at the United States Environmental Protection Agency, propylene oxide, chemical product info, properties, production, applications. Propylene oxide at the Technology Transfer Network Air Toxics website, CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards.